So do you like making your own cosmetics and you've been wondering how to make hand sanitizer? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make your own. So to begin this tutorial, uh, the products that you're going to be needing are some paper towel, uh, isopropyl alcohol, which is 70% alcohol, and some aloe vera gel. And you're also going to need some uh, little containers. You can use travel containers, and you can find these at most places. I picked these up at Walmart for a dollar. And this I already had in hand, and this I picked up at Shoppers Drug Mart. And uh, so those are the ingredients that you need to make the hand sanitizer. And uh, so for the materials that you're going to need to mix up the items, you're going to need things that are designated just for crafts. You don't want to use your day-to-day -day cooking utensils or cosmetic, and you don't want to mix, you don't want to use products that you use for eating. So I, I already uh, had some things on hand because I like to make my own lotions and soaps. So you're going to need a whisk. Uh, you can also find smaller cosmetic ones online. I uh, have this mixing bowl. It's a little bit big, but it's what I already had for making up cosmetics. And you're going to need a little measuring cup. So you can go to the dollar store and get a measuring cup, but I'm just going to be using this one just because it has a little spout and also a little spatula and that's just for convenience so the first step is to make sure that all your products are sanitized so you want to make sure to wash everything with soapy water and then you just put down some paper towel on your countertop just to keep things clean and uh, it's good to have uh, spray alcohol but I, I didn't have any and the shelves are a little empty right now so I wasn't able to buy any so I'm just going to put some alcohol onto this cloth here and I'm just going to sanitize all my utensils and that includes the handle too don't just clean the part that's going to be touching. So you want to make sure to clean in here, outside and in. You just sanitize everything that you're touching. You put it onto the paper towel. That's just to keep things clean. And so I'm just gonna clean the spatula. And also the inside of the bowl and the outside, I might need another cloth for this one just because it's got a big surface to it. So that we'll just put here. So now with containers, you don't need to rinse this with alcohol. Um, whenever you buy a container, you have you should assume that it's already sterile and clean because if you if you do clean it, what can happen is you can actually introduce bacteria because there's um, a lot of bacteria in water and um, that's why you use alcohol. Uh, so you don't need to rinse the inside with alcohol and you don't need to wash it either. You just leave it how it is. So. Uh, now to begin, the recipe is really easy, so what you need is for the hand sanitizer to be effective, you need at least a 60% solution. So we're going to do three quarters of a cup of alcohol to one quarter of a cup of aloe vera gel. I'm just putting it into the bowl. So just because it's a pump, I'm just going to pump it because it's the cleanest way. So um, you can find this in the after sun section. Um, they have it at the dollar store and they have it at Walmart or Shoppers Drug Mart. And if your shelves are empty, don't panic. Um, a lot of people are buying more than they need. 
um, right now, but the shelves will be restocked. So um, don't worry, in a few days there'll be more. I went out today and there was already uh, a lot more supplies. I'm just gonna put the gel into the alcohol solution. And then I'm just going to stir it around to mix it up. So now that I have it all mixed up, uh, I'm just going to pour it. You can so to get it into these little containers, uh, you can use a funnel, which I would recommend, uh, or. I'm just going to pour it back into here just to make it easier to handle. So now I'm just removing the lid and I'm just going to fill up my container. So there we go. So I now have my own handmade hand sanitizer, and as you can see, it's got, as you can see, it's got a nice consistency. And uh, so just make sure um, to wash your hands well. You need to wash uh, your hands with soapy water. That's the most effective way to kill bacteria. Uh, but this is a nice addition, especially if you're not able to. Uh, buy any hand sanitizer right now. Uh, if the shelves or are, are empty, then you can make uh, your own. And uh, well, thanks for watching. And leave a comment below if you have any questions. And have a great day.